All right, so boom, we just finished dropping off that one pick three drop. Um, I stopped at an auto zone because I needed some coolant for the truck. I couldn't find the exact one that I needed, but I found something that'll do until I can flush the system and put in the correct um, coolant for the truck. Like I was telling you guys in the previous video, I just got a call from my broker and we found an Amazon load. I've been wanting to do an Amazon load for a while because a lot of people have questions on it. Um, how does it work? You know, what the process looks like. So I'm excited to pick up this load and show you guys exactly how the process goes. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need my pallet jack and my lift gate. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to load and unload myself. Um, but honestly, it's okay because this is taking me home. This is going from Jersey to New York. It don't get no better than that. You know, they're not gonna be home for the weekend. So we just topped off our coolant and now we should be good to hit the road and pick up that Amazon loader, New Jersey. Let's go. YouTube was good. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and hit that like button and definitely go ahead and subscribe so I can continue dropping more videos just like this for you guys. Now, for those of you guys that want a detailed step-by-step -step broken down process of how to get into this trucking game, everything that you need to know from a beginner aspect to expanding your trucking business. Now, over the past couple months, I've been able to create two in-depth trucking guides. One is called the beginner trucking guide. The other one is called the over the road trucking guide. Have trucking guides in an easily digestible PDF format now these two trucking guides are 11 pages of full in-depth game on how to get into the trucking game how to expand your trucking game and then how to eventually automate your trucking business now, i'll be leaving the links to both of those trucking guides in the description below so go ahead and make sure you check that out before this video ends and let's get back to the video Alright, so we are pulling up to the Amazon warehouse. Wait, whoops. We're pulling up into the truck, or not the truck, what the? We're pulling up into the Amazon warehouse, and just in time, the truck is asking to do this DF service. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna park at a dock, and I'm gonna press that little button so that my truck can do its df service while i am amazon fulfillment while i'm waiting to get loaded or while i'm loading up this is my first time going through this amazon process so we're gonna see how this goes so this is what it's looking like i'm recording on my other phone because i have my eol my order number and everything on my on my other phone um, i wasn't able to print it out so i don't know if you guys can see but there are hella cameras. Camera, 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 camera. I guess for safety purposes. Yeah, this is uh, it's weird. I gotta check in in those cameras right there. I have a face mask on, so I'm honestly gonna have to take that off. I don't even think I can record in here, but we gonna record. Shit, mate. Y'all need to see this process. You gotta check in and check out at the cameras. Look, he's stopping and Oh, this is crazy. I don't know. I kind of want to take my face mask off. I feel like they're going to say something. All right. So we were finally able to check in. They don't have any non-inventory doors open. So I got to park at one of these trailer spots. He said number 283. Try to record it, but my other phone died. Two eight three is taken, so I guess I'll just park in one of these. All right, so I couldn't find a uh, parking spot. Two eight three was taken up by a bobtail, so I had to park in a random open spot. But do y'all see that over there? It says driver's lounge. I'm gonna be honest. I'm about to put my vest on 
I'm about to put my vest on and go see what the driver's lounge is, is like, cause sheesh. I feel like I work at the airport. Um, I threw on my vest. So whenever you're doing anything for Amazon, um, when you're picking up or dropping off anything at their warehouses, you have to wear PPE. It's protective, I don't know, some safety equipment. So really all you gotta have is this, um, this vest and then gloves. So let's go check out what the fuck this driver's lounge is. A moment of truth. Let's see what this is. Jeez. So there is the Amazon warehouse, yeah? All the packages getting sorted out for the doors and all that. God damn, y'all see that? That is crazy. There's so much work, but there's not enough drivers. If you're thinking about getting a box truck or a semi, do it. <laughs> Cause there's a whole lot of work for you. All right, so bro is loading me up right now. So I do have my own pilot jack, but boy is loading me up, so you know what I'm saying? All right, so it's only four of these pallets. I got two more coming. Buddy's about to get on the electric forklift over there. So that's how the process went picking up at Amazon. Honestly, it was pretty simple. I mean, the only thing I had to do was wait a little bit. Um, you come pick up at Amazon load, just make sure you have your load number or your confirmation. So now it's time to head to New York. I gotta head to New York. That's where the drop off is. I don't drop this off until tomorrow though. Um, tomorrow morning and I already got a load coming out of where I'm dropping off at. Um, so stay tuned for that guys. Had to make a quick pit stop before I went into New York where our first truck is parked at. Um, I had to drop something off before I head into New York, but we're about to get over there. I'm about to show you guys what it's like driving in New York um, in rush hour, how horrible the traffic is and how horrible the drivers are. Um, and then we're going to pick back up tomorrow in New York. All right, so we are officially on the George Washington Bridge. This bridge has to be the, the literal definition of organized chaos. But Good morning, y'all. So it's the next day and I'm on my way to the Amazon drop. It is in New York. Um, it's actually close to Albany, New York. Um, and I was planning on getting there at seven or eight o'clock. But as you can see, I am stuck in New York traffic. We made it to Albany, New York. I am about five to seven minutes away from the warehouse that I'm dropping off at. It's actually my first time here in the capital of New York crazy all right so they said door number five so i'm guessing it's this i've never had to back into something like this this isn't really a a dock this is more of a just a door i don't know if y'all can see back there number five oh, that's number six and the front is right next to it All right, so I don't know if y'all can see that, but we just barely fit. All right, y'all, so I'm not bugging. There is a dock all the way back over there. You can just barely see it. It's crazy. I've never seen some shit like this before. All right, y'all, so let me show you a little perspective of, like, what I'm talking about and how weird this, this docking is. So that's my truck, and this is what their dock is like. You got to go through this little, like, tunnel and back up all the way back here. Nobody has came out yet since I parked, so I'm about to see what's up with these people. Just like that, we are unloaded. He took all four pallets off of the truck. Now we are empty. Time to clean up this truck a little bit. And I have another pickup about an hour from here. Going back to exactly where I came from. All right, y'all, just like that, we are done with the Amazon load. Um, we ended up dropping it off in Albany, New York. I'm about to get in the truck and head about an hour away. I got another pickup um, going back towards where I came from. Thanks for watching, y'all already know. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm looking to drop more and more and more videos for you owner operators out there or for you guys wanting to get into the trucking game. I want to give you guys the hands-on experience. So stay tuned for the next one, let's go.